Hello all. I'm doing another Falcon BMS tutorial on the Dive Toss Ungai Bomb release. So, uh, Dive Toss, otherwise known as DTOS, combines the visual elements of uh, CCIP with the release of CCRP. So, this is useful in high threat environments where you have a lot of shore ads, such as man pads and AAA. So for this mission I have uh, six Mark A2s and I'll be posting this TE in the description. And uh, So currently it's on CCRP but I'm going to switch it to DTOS and a recent trick that I learned was that you can hit the nose wheel steering button to quickly switch between bomb modes. So I'm going to quickly freeze it right here. So if you look at your flight marker, you'll have a small square that you can slew around like how you slew around your radar in TGP. And that's where you set your impact point to be. So over there is the target range and I'm going to be hitting the, the last strafing practice target using the bomb. So I'm going to unfreeze and then turn into the target area. So turning in. Diving in, then slewing in, and then to designate your target, you just hit TMS up. Then you see you get the CCRP symbology. And the first release queue is always the loft queue. But you wait for the second one, which in this case there are about 15 seconds left before release. Then usually about 3 seconds before release, I hold down the pickle and it will automatically release. So I hold down the pickle, and then it released. So I'm going to turn to left, and we can see the impact on the accuracy. So this is most useful uh, for attacking columns, in my opinion, with cluster munitions. So you can just dive in, designate a column, pull up, and then uh, drop a cluster munition on it. So. Approximately right there was where I aimed. Then it barely missed. It's close enough to get a kill, and it, when you're using cluster munitions, that's close enough to do a lot of damage to a target. So I'm just going to fly out here for a bit. So I'm just using caps lock to go to times four speed. and uh, turning back in. So this time around I'll hit one of the actual bombing targets. I just use a cursor slew to slew the box around. Testing on target, level out, then wait for the release queue. And since I wasn't perfectly aligned with that, this bomb is probably going to miss by a greater distance than the other one. So, but if you're using cluster munitions, it will be close enough for, for what you need. So, aimed approximately right there. And you can see, got a shack right in the middle. So, this is a shorter tutorial than normal, but I have some future tutorials planned and I will be redoing the Install to Combat Ready video next week. It's a bit rambly in the original and I'll actually be editing it down so my goal for that is getting that to about 65 minutes or shorter. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions please let me know in the comments below. Thanks!